Awesome. So, so welcome to part four of the Juice Plus training series with myself, Jason Grossman, and, and John Pilato. I hope you've enjoyed the, the information over the last four weeks on, on how to set up your Google contact list and use the nutrition assessment process. We've also gone through how to set up your event, how to market that, how to create your event, the three-week marketing campaign, and also the close. And then last week, we had the opportunity to go through and go through how to train, how to train your downline effectively to make sure that we're communicating with them and assisting them to grow. Getting them to getting your front line to 818 fast track is really the primary focus in the beginning. And that's why we started off with a bang on how to get five customers in your first week, which a lot of people that are listening to me right now have done. If you're listening to this as a recording, um, please, if you haven't yet listened to those three videos, please go back and listen to those and watch those three videos before you continue with this. If you're unsure about any other videos in this six series, if you can please talk to your upline or your, your, your team, your team uh, on where you can find those, that'll be great things. Before I hand you over to John Pilato, who's going to be taking most of today as it is probably his favorite area and his area of expertise. Today he's going to be talking to you about three areas. Okay, and those three areas are first of all your genealogy which to be honest is my favorite because I'm an extremely visual person and I love to be able to see my organizational chart with all my downline and everything's going on with the pretty colors and, and so forth. You know, I, I, I know that I'm a, I, I can be a little visual. So he's going to talk to you about that and how to use that. I might add a bit of my, um, my own feedback with how I like to use that as well. Second of all, he's going to talk to you about how to read your 12-month uh, report as well. He's going to go through that. And thirdly, he's going to go through quite possibly the most important tool that you'll ever use for understanding Juice Plus as a business. The, the PV report, um, the ultimate report. But look, before we get started, you know, you might be thinking, well, that sounds cool, but how boring. Maybe I should, maybe I can pretend, maybe I can have a nap or read a book instead of listening to this entire webinar. But I just, if you're listening to this right now, then you're obviously serious about creating a lifestyle for yourself. A lifestyle where you have the freedom to do what you want, with who you want, when you want, wherever you want. If you don't want that, then maybe now is a good time to leave or turn off this video recording because who doesn't want that? And the reason why this is so important is because I believe, we've all heard the saying, 80% of success is what? Showing up, right? I believe that 80% of success is awareness. Being aware of where we are, where you want to be, by when, backtrack from there, set small goals along the way, implement specific strategies to achieve them, and then track and monitor those. And the reason why it's important to track and monitor that is so that way if we're not getting results we want, we can make the necessary changes. The great thing is that Juice Plus does all that for you. Those that work with me personally know that we, we manually monitor our progression. Yeah, we monitor our performance through tracking. Now the Juice Plus virtual office does that for you automatically. How cool is that? You don't have to do that. All you need to do is look at them. Now we've all heard the saying, out of sight, out of, exactly, out of mind. Now, if 80% of success really is awareness, and you don't know what's going on in your Juice Plus business with your financials or with your performance, how do you really know you're on track? How do you really know you have a successful business? If you are serious about making a lifestyle with Juice Plus and creating residual income and a future whilst changing lives, then you really want to listen to what John has to say here. This might not be the most exciting at first, but trust me when I say that if you implement this, it will be the most powerful strategies that you can implement to guarantee longevity with your Juice Plus business. So without further ado, I'm going to hand you over to John. You all know who John is. You know him well. So I'm just going to take him off mute now and pass you over to him. Hey, John, how are you going? Very well, thank you, mate. And how are you? I'm, I'm fantastic. I'm just handing over the controls to you now. And just as I hand them over to you, I'll, I'll leave them in, in your very capable hands. Yes. Sorry, mate. You just dropped out there, Jason. I'll, I'll, hand them, I'll hand them over to you. Oh, there you go. Happy days. Uh, hi, guys. It's uh, exciting for me to be here today. Actually, Jason said that this is my favourite part of the training, and it is. Uh, and I, I kind of uh, probably disagree with Jason in this area. Uh, to me, this is one of the most exciting uh, parts of our training, and there's a couple of reasons for that, guys. Um, when you understand the numbers and the things that we're going to go through today, uh, you're actually going to empower yourself to understand your earnings as well. 
part. And when you understand your earnings, obviously we all like to get paid. Uh, and understanding your numbers and your earnings, guys, is really exciting. One of the most popular questions that I get asked uh, on a monthly basis is how do I know how much I'm going to get paid? Uh, and today I'm going to take you through uh, the basic reports. We're going to do uh, a very simple look at these reports, guys. They obviously provide you with a, a lot of data as your business grows. Uh, there'll be more and more exciting things for us to have a look at. But, uh, but today is just going to be a basic overview so that you can start to know uh, how and why you're getting paid, um, certainly how much you're getting paid, and, uh, and you can start to see the growth in your business, which is really getting uh, exciting. Um, I don't think any of us doubt uh, that we all want to know uh, how we get paid, and we want to get paid for what we do. I think uh, for you guys as PTs, you're used to having uh, hourly rate. Uh, you're used to getting sort of instant gratification pay, if you like. Uh, so you'll do an hour's personal training, you'll get paid for that hour. Uh, in our business, guys, we get paid monthly. And so our income from our Juice Plus business is more investment income. And, uh, and that's, again, why these numbers are important. And sometimes we're going to have to do a little bit of work. You know, over a 30-day period, we don't get paid until the end of that month. So uh, by looking at your reports on a daily basis, certainly as your business grows, you can really keep yourself excited and motivated as you're seeing your business metrics, your numbers growing. So the first one we're going to have a look at uh, today, and hopefully everybody can see my screen. Uh, what I have up here, this is the preferred customer genealogy report. Okay, now this particular report, uh, this has nothing to do with any numbers, guys. This report has everything to do with your uh, customer relationships, customer retention management. and. Uh, Hopefully you'll remember from earlier video training sessions that we've done that the purpose of our Juice Plus business is to build a small personal customer base of our own that we maintain over a very long period of time and then to continue to grow our business via leverage by growing a team that we train to also go and build a small personal customer base of their own. Um, that's the company's uh, model. That's the model that's been working for 40 plus years and allowed us to do over 12 billion in uh, volume turnover worldwide. That's billion with a B. Uh, so obviously the model works, guys, and that's what we're all training you to do right now so that you can be successful to whatever level you like. The, the reports are accessed, guys. If you've got pen and paper, I just want you to write this down. Uh, all these reports are accessed or accessed rather from your uh, virtual office, and you need to go to the My Team Data menu and uh, just hover your mouse over that. You'll see then a flyout menu which will have an option called Former Reports. It's F O R M E R Reports. So you need to go down to that. And then once you click on that, a screen will load up and you'll see a number of different reports that you can choose from. So this one is the Preferred Customer Genealogy Report. And guys, this report, all it does is it lists all of your own personal customers and it lists all of the personal customers of each of your team members. Okay, so not only can you have a look through here and check on your own customers and their status, but you can also have a look through your entire team. And there's a couple of things that we want to have a look for on, on this particular report. If you're doing customer care well, uh, we have a retention rate of 75%. So three out of four people that we've put on Juice Plus uh, since we started four and a half years ago are still taking Juice Plus with us today. And I'm sure you'll agree that that's an excellent result. Uh, that's long-term income, guys, locked in with people that love their Juice Plus. They just keep taking the box every four months and we get paid over and over. And that's how we build an ongoing and growing residual income. So. I want to draw your attention uh, to a couple of things. And this column at the moment that I'm, uh, I'm highlighting, uh, which says next shipment date, okay, the numbers under here, guys, this just tells you whether it's 4 or 4i, that's just telling you whether they have taken their four-month supply and paid up front or whether they're paying in four monthly installments, which is obviously the 4i. So, it's just a, a little number there, guys, to let you know how each customer is paying. The most important uh, 
piece of information, guys, in this particular report is the next column over. Okay, the next column over is the next shipment date for each customer. So, for example, if we have a look at Joanne Place up here, uh, we know that Joanne will be getting her next shipment of Juice Plus on the 7th of August 2013. Now, why is that important? Well, I can tell you that almost 90% of the cancellations of customer orders on Juice Plus are simply because a customer will have an oversupply. And an oversupply happens because customers, uh, it takes three weeks to form a habit, and sometimes we're not very good at taking our Juice Plus every single day. And if we have a few days or a week over the course of each month, and we do that over four months, then we can have an excess supply of Juice Plus, or in other words, we haven't actually got through our four month supply. And so, if you don't actually give your customer a call to check that they're uh, on track with their taking of Juice Plus, what happens is the next box arrives and your customer now has a new four month shipment that they may well already have a month or two months sitting in the cupboard that they haven't got through yet. So their first reaction is to panic, call up head office and cancel the order. Okay? And obviously you don't want that to happen. So this little bit of customer care guys, and I'm talking about a very little bit of customer care, because remember their box only gets shipped every four months and it's just one phone call that you need to make every four months in the week before their next shipment. And that phone call is just to check that they're on track, that they're uh, taking their Juice Plus daily, that they're aware that their next shipment arrives the next week, and uh, making sure that they're okay to take that shipment. Now, if the customer is running a little bit late uh, in terms of taking their Juice Plus and they're not quite ready, maybe they've got a month's supply, it's very easy to deal with. You just log into your virtual office and you can go into your customer's order and you can change the date for delivery and shipment for whenever it needs to be shipped. If they've got a month uh, left, for example, then you can just change that uh, date to a month later. And if you do that, guys, you're going to retain a huge amount of your customers as opposed to losing them and not knowing that you're losing them. So really, that is your customer care. Now, I just want to use an example I know Jason talks a lot uh, about building a customer base over time and we talk about getting five Juice Plus customers a week. And if you think about that, uh, let's say you get five Juice Plus customers a week and you do that uh, over a four month period, okay, it means that you're, you're virtually getting 20 Juice Plus customers uh, a month. And that means, guys, that the maximum amount of work that you have to do in any month for your customer attention is just 20 phone calls okay, to each of those clients that are going to be due their shipment in, in the next month, oh, sorry, in the next week. So that's what this report's for. Um, the other thing in the last column, or uh, oh, sorry, before I go to the last column, you'll see here that there is some examples under the, uh, the next shipment date where you can see none. Okay, where you see none, that's actually a customer that's cancelled their order. And over time, if you have a look at that, sometimes even if we do our customer care, for whatever reason, uh, economic or otherwise, uh, some customers will cancel. Guys, that's just life, that's just business. Uh, we don't have 100% retention, no business does. Um, but it's a great way to actually check on your retention rate. And when I'm looking through this report, and I'm doing that through my team, if I'm seeing a lot of these nuns appearing in this column, then I'm going to have a chat to my team member and ask them about what sort of customer care are you doing. Okay? Because uh, I've learnt over four and a half years when I see a lot of uh, cancellations popping up under a team member, that that team member is not doing anything to maintain the relationship they have with that customer. So it's always good to check that, and you need to check that under your team's customers as well. The last column here, guys, is a pretty obvious one. Uh, it just tells you uh, the customers, what their order is. So you can see that we've got capsules, uh, we've got capsules here and chewables, and uh, down here we've got uh, complete, and they've taken the 60 pack of the vanilla. So you'll always know what your customers have. Uh, you'll see Perry Blend down here as well. So that's just another way for you to understand uh, what your customers have when you're doing that customer care phone call. So that's it guys in terms of the customer genealogy report. 
There is only one other little thing that I want to touch base on in terms of our customer retention uh, management, and that is our own Team JP customer care uh, data entry area. Now you'll see this uh, website address here, and I'll post that in the group. Um, but we created a email newsletter series, and so what you need to do when you register a new customer, you just need to pop their name and their email address into this web page and click on submit and that will actually uh, give them, every month they'll get sent a really nicely formatted HTML newsletter which has some great information about uh, health and nutrition, some great information about what fruits and veggies do for our health and also talks about what Juice Plus is doing in their body and in their blood in this particular month that they're taking it. So it's another great thing, guys, and when we implemented this, our customer retention uh, rate did improve and did become uh, quite a bit stronger, so I do encourage you to use that as well. So that's the customer genealogy, guys. Now we're going to get into the numbers. And the next report that Jason asked me to go through with you is our 12-month analysis report. Now, going back to your virtual office, how do we access this report? Well. If you go back to your uh, home page, you'll see at the top of the home page there is a, uh, a green line and it says uh, my business and team at a glance. And when you click on that link, another page will come up and as you scroll down that page to uh, the area which says my previous month commission, you will see a link highlighted in blue. There's only two of them and one of those links is the 12-month analysis report. So if you click on that link, you'll get a screen that looks uh, very similar to this one. Obviously, it'll be yours, and it's going to have your numbers on it. So I'm just going to talk to you about the key numbers, guys, that you want to be looking at uh, in your 12-month analysis report. Obviously, you can see what this report is. It's looking at your business over the last 12 months. And the very first line here, this P slash R check, Okay, that's your earnings check, guys. And you want to be looking at your earnings and you want to be seeing those earnings moving in an upwards direction. Now, obviously, your earnings move in an upwards direction when your volume turnover moves in an upwards direction. And you'll also be able to see your volume uh, on this report. That's the pay line volume. And if you have a look, as the volume goes up, guys, so too will your check. So the very first thing that you should be looking at here is this top line. And obviously we're using uh, Peter Conroy's as an example. I know that Pete doesn't mind. And we can see that, that Pete sort of started his business uh, down in September uh, of 2012. And in May 2013, Pete's check is sitting just under $2,000. Um, the great thing is that it's also giving a total earnings over the period of time and an average earnings. Now, I'm a big fan of, uh, of looking at average earnings when it comes to business turnover, uh, and we'll be talking about that at a later stage. Um, the next number, guys, uh, the next line is your uh, SUP check. So that's any supplementary bonuses and things that are paid to you. And uh, we can see here that, that Peter's been paid $300 in a sub check in October. Uh, that would tell me that Peter actually broke a new senior sales coordinator, oh, sorry, senior direct in that month. And so he's been paid his $300 senior direct express track bonus. Um, that would have been Peter actually in that month hitting senior direct express track. And we can see in December that Peter's been paid $900 and I happen to know that in December, Peter broke uh, three senior direct express tracks in his frontline team. And so you remember, guys, that you get paid the $300 bonus for each senior direct that you break in your frontline as well. And so this is just another uh, area that you can check, guys, for any bonuses. And obviously, your total earnings in each month is going to be uh, this top line here, your PR check, right? Plus this second line here, your supplementary check. Now, there is one other bonus, and I know some of you will be looking at this, uh, this number down here where it says earnings. 
Okay, your PR check, guys, is your total earnings. Okay, so that's uh, that's this earnings plus any bonuses uh, plus any uh, retail sales profit, and that's the next line I want to draw, uh, draw your attention to on this report. Okay, there really, guys, there's only four areas at this stage of your business I want you to look at in this report. Uh, the first one is your overall earnings for the month. The second one is what bonuses did I get paid this month? The third one is uh, this one here, which is your earnings uh, minus your bonuses. And the last one is this line here, which is your RSP. That's just your retail sales profit. Okay, so any customers that you guys put on personally yourself, you're earning retail sales profit on, and you will be able to determine how much of your check was in your own customers, and obviously everything else that's not your own customers or your own retail sales profit is being paid to you in commissions and bonuses, and that's commissions and bonuses on your own customers and also the customers of your team members. You'll see, guys, uh, that down here, the bonus, I know we have a sub-check area up here which says 150. Um, down here, it just this is a confirmation, guys, that that 150 was a bonus. Okay, and you'll see that the numbers at the top here in this sub-check and in this bonus are the same. We don't count those twice. Um, why they actually have them listed in this report uh, twice, I don't know. I just want you to, uh, to understand that these are the same things, guys, so it's not like you're getting paid that twice. Okay, so really the key number, guys, in this report is this one here in terms of your earnings. The other very, very important number in this report for you to look at right, is your pay line volume turnover. And this number, guys, you want this number to be going up every month. Okay, your pay line volume turnover is the volume turnover of your entire uh, Juice Plus organisation, okay, your whole business. So you can see here, Pete started in, uh, in September. Okay, uh, obviously the first month gets recorded in the following month when the report comes out. So we started off uh, late September. He just got in and uh, did a volume turnover of 436, which I know is two capsules orders. But here we are some uh, well, eight months later, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months later, and he now has a volume turnover of almost $11,000 uh, a month, which is very, very good. Uh, obviously, starting from here and moving here on a part-time basis, just doing a little bit of Juice Plus stuff uh, and leveraging out through a team. So the total volume turnover then for Pete's business is 45,500, and that's giving him an average volume turnover monthly of the 3,795. So that's uh, a very important number, guys, that average monthly volume turnover. And I'll tell you why, uh, particularly for anyone that's listening today that is a sales coordinator and above, once you reach sales coordinator, every position in the company uh, beyond sales coordinator requires you to have a certain amount of uh, volume turnover over a condensed period of time. For example, senior sales coordinator requires you to uh, have $36,000 worth of volume turnover over a three-month period or an average of $12,000 a month in turnover. So whilst it's very good to, uh, to be looking at the, the number here, uh, for Pete, as an example, like we would be looking and saying, "Okay, Pete, well, you're very good. You're at eleven thousand in May, so we know that your volume turnover is heading towards that twelve thousand that we need." But I also like to go back to look at the average volume turnover over a period of twelve months, so that we can see how solid uh, our earnings is in that period, so that we really know that we've got a very solid. Uh, senior sales coordinator business in place. In other words, yes, we know Pete's very close now and he will be moving to that level, but what I'd be looking for is this number here, the average number, to be hitting 12,000. Once I know I've got that, then I know I've got a very, very solid senior uh, sales coordinator business in place. That's really all I want to talk about here, guys, on this 12-month uh, analysis report. Apart from, I'm sure you might be wondering what these PB1 through to the PB5 uh, numbers are, or letters are. And what that is, guys, you'll remember that once you have your customer base in place of 40 customers in 
for a qualified business, the company also pays you an additional 4% performance bonus. And that's 4% of the entire volume turnover of your business uh, that's created by any team member who is a direct 4% or above. And you'll see what happened here that Pete got through his first few months. He started putting team members in. Uh, by January, some of those team members started going direct or above, um, senior direct. And uh, so now there was some volume turnover being created by those directs and above in his organisation. And so Peter was also attracting an additional 4% of, uh, of this number here each month. And that also uh, went into his overall earnings. And so it will for you as well. Now the exciting thing about this, guys, is we need to understand that if we want a small business and some pocket money, then we think about our own personal customers. But if we want a large volume turnover, a large income, then we need to think about team members, growing a team. That's where the leverage comes from. That's where the leveraged volume growth and turnover comes from. And let's go back and remember the model that the company puts forward. It says build a small customer base of 40 customers and grow your business by duplicating that out through others. Okay, now the P, you guys as PTs, like if you really understand the opportunity that, that you guys have, I, I don't know how you would sleep, seriously, because we have a huge population, 94% of them are not getting anywhere near enough fruits and veggies, and they come to you for your advice. So that means that whilst the company talks about a model of just 40 customers, Right? You guys have got the ability to build a customer base which is much larger than that on a personal level and to continue to grow that customer base, which means that your own retail sales profits are going to be much, much higher than the average franchisee. But not only that, guys, because you're typically growing your team with other PTs, right, they're going to be in exactly the same boat. And so theoretically, each of your team members is going to have a much higher uh, customer base than just the 40 as well over time. And that puts you guys absolutely in the driver's seat and it's one of the reasons I know that Jason and I understand that the Juice Plus opportunity as far as personal trainers is concerned is an absolute no-brainer vehicle and, and a must-have as a part of your business to create that safety net. So we're excited about that. So I'm going to move on now guys from the 12-month analysis report and we're going to have a look at the, uh, the downline growth and PV report. Again, we access that exactly the same way. We go to My Team Data, Former Reports, click on that link, and your downline growth and PV report is another option that you have to call up. And I'm going to show you what that downline growth and PV report looks like now. Here's, uh, here's an example. And, uh, sorry, that's the, that's not the one I'm after. Just give me two seconds, guys, please. You can see, guys, in my, uh, my email list here, how often I actually get uh, reports printed out to have a look through them. Uh, obviously, I, I really enjoy looking at the numbers in my business and seeing what's going on. Uh, and I really do that a couple of times a week. When you've got volume turnover growing quickly in your business, I really like to know what's going on. So let's have a look at, at this report. And uh, we'll just go down to uh, where some of you guys may recognize you, yourself. Uh, we'll start. We'll start here, guys, with uh, with your upline. So, this um, this is what your downline growth and PV report looks like, and you'll notice that there are some colours. Uh, some people's names are highlighted in colours, and uh, guys, if I go back up to the the first part of this uh, report you'll see that the very first page actually has a definition of what those colours are. And typically what it is, is if you have any of your team members highlighted as a particular colour, it means that their, uh, their volume turnover is now getting them very close to a promotion to another level. So it's just an easy way that the report shows up team members 
uh, that you probably need to be in contact with to check that they're aware uh, that they've got some promotions coming up and you can just work closely with them to get that job done, get them over the line. So a whole bunch of columns here guys and a whole bunch of numbers. Uh, really just a basic, basic overview of this today. Just the most important key critical things that, that I'll, I want you to be having a look at. Uh, obviously we've got our first column here which is uh, our name and the names of all of our team members. So you can see your, uh, your esteemed leader here, Jason Grossman. And uh, then you'll see all of these names listed below and, uh, and we won't look through the whole report because it's massive. Um, but uh, these are all of the franchisees that, that exist and you, you guys will be listed in here as well. And you can see different numbers, guys, next to the franchisee's name. Now, if we were looking at, at you, for example, on your PV report, it would list you at the top of your report. And, of course, this number here would be one, okay, because you're the first level in your business. Then the next level of franchisees down would all have the number two for you. In this case, uh, Jason is, is three tiers down in, uh, in our organisation. And so Jason is listed at three, the next level down is four, then five, and so on and so forth. Now, just going very, very quickly, guys, back to the, um, the previous report, the 12-month analysis report, we were looking at PB1, two, three, four, and five. Uh, it's important to understand the way that we get paid. That 4% bonus is paid to you uh, down five generations of franchisees in your organisation. And those generations, don't get caught up in this, guys, it's just an overview, but it's five generations of qualifiers. Okay, so that, that means theoretically that you can be paid on up to 20 or 30 levels in your business, as wide as each of those levels go. So again, imagine if you've got a great team active out there in the community building other team members. Okay, you're getting paid on a truckload of activity, guys. It's important to remember that and to have a little bit of a bigger picture uh, with what you're doing with your business. So let's go back now to the PV report. And the next column along, guys, from the name over here, we'll see the, uh, the title of the distributor. So in this case, uh, we've got Jason as a senior sales coordinator. Uh, SDDs are senior direct distributors, SD, uh, DDs sorry, are direct distributors, um, SCs are sales coordinators. Now brand new franchisees or people that haven't yet reached direct, they're known as dealers or DLR. So that's just letting you know where each of your team members is in terms of their promotions and positions with the company. The next column across uh, is just a month date and that tells us that uh, the month that that particular franchisee reached that promotion level. For example, we know here that, uh, that Jason went senior sales coordinator in uh, October 2012. So that's what that number there is. The, um, the next column, guys, is, is a really, really important one. Uh, and it's one that, that sometimes can be just a little confusing. I'm going to try and uh, make it easy for you to understand today. You guys know hopefully now that there are two ways that you can reach any position with the company. There's an express track program, which is the fast way, and there's a cumulative program, or the slow way. Now, the volume turnover, or this number here, guys, in, in this column that you see, and, uh, and again, we'll, we can't use uh, Jason's. You'll see that uh, in some cases, guys, the, the number is blank, and I'll tell you why that is in a moment. So let's look at Jason Dick for an example, and we're seeing 18,263 here. Now that number there, that's the total volume turnover that your business has done, that's you and all of your team members together, from the date that you licensed in the business. Okay, now that's a really important number for you guys to know when you're tracking your promotions. Uh, you should know what numbers, what volume turnovers you need to hit. Uh, for your express track or for your cumulative, okay? And then you can have a look at this report and you can see your volume turnover in this number and you'll know exactly how far away you are from your promotion. And the same goes, guys, when you're working with your team, right? Remember, your goal is to develop sales coordinators. 
So when you're looking through your report, it's not just you that you should be looking at. What you should be looking at is, what are my team members doing? How close are they to their promotions? And so this number here becomes really important because then you can keep uh, on top of it and you can make sure that you're you know, sharing that with your team members, making sure that they're aware. Now sometimes, guys, people may not look at their report. And if you've got somebody that's only two or three customers away from reaching a promotion, obviously it's a great idea to get in contact with them, let them know, create that buzz and excitement. Okay, so your reports are important. Now, the way that this number works on this report, it only shows cumulative volume. Okay, so uh, let's look at an example. And an example would be if we're looking at the volume required for a senior direct distributor, via the cumulative method, it's $8,000 of volume turnover. Okay, now roughly a box of capsules is about 200 bucks. So we know that a franchisee would need 40 customers to get that done. And if we look at the case here of Jasmine, then we can see that the total volume turnover that Jasmine's done from the date that she started until now is $7,067. And then if we look a couple of columns across, guys, under the required to qualify column, we'll see 933. And that's important because that's telling me that Jasmine needs $933 more dollars and she will actually reach her next promotion. So in other words, guys, if you add up 7,067 and 933, it will equal the 8,000 in cumulative volume. So where I said this gets a little bit tricky, um, it's only to understand the difference in the numbers, guys. You need to understand what does a franchisee need to hit to do it via the express track and what do they need if they're going to do it the slow way. Okay, because this report only shows the slow way. All right? And that's important because sometimes if you're looking through these numbers, right, a franchisee may actually have more than they require in terms of their volume turnover for the express track and you need to keep an eye on that just in case it's been missed because it's up to you to get your team member promoted, let head office know that they're up for their promotion. Okay? That's why you need to check these numbers. The, uh, the other thing that's really important, guys, on this report is, uh, is column four. Now, I know you're wondering why these columns are sort of a little bit out of whack and uh, sometimes it's just the way that the PDF comes up. So this next column here, guys, next to the amount required to qualify, this is the uh, performance bonus qualification number. Okay? This has everything to do with your qualified business and looking through your team to check who is close to being a qualified business or a qualifier. And that's important, guys, because remember, that uh, once you get to become a qualifier, you're actually earning that 4%. So you want to make sure that your team members are, are working solidly towards that, uh, becoming qualified as quickly as possible so that their profitability goes up. If you have a team that's, that's profitable, that's earning money quickly, that are enjoying their job, uh, enjoying what they do working, then you're going to have a lot of volume growth and a lot of excitement. So one of the things that this report is very important for is for us to identify who are our existing qualified businesses and who are getting close to becoming qualified businesses. And I'll tell you how to work with this report. What you do, guys, is you print out a hard copy of this report every month and you get a highlighter. I don't particularly care what colour it is. But the very first thing that I want to do is I want to identify anyone that I can find that actually has 1,500 or more in their PB column. Okay, and if we have a look through this report, we'll see here Peter Conroy, for example, uh, has 1,397 in the PB column. Uh, there is additional PB here, guys. I know this report gets a little, uh, just a little messy at times. So let me see if I can find one that's a little clearer for you. Let's look for some qualifiers down in here somewhere. Okay. 
Okay. If we uh, if we have a look at Quinton Brown, for example, okay, we will see under the uh, PB column here that uh, Quinton last month did 1,317. Okay, so a little bit short of that 1,500 that's required. Um, I would be highlighting Quinton because he's extremely close to 1,500. 1,500 guys, that's just volume turnover. And you reach 1,500 in volume turnover when you have 28 Juice Plus Capsules customers. That's the very, very minimum number, guys, that you need to become a qualifier. We teach 40 because we know that we don't have 100% retention. We want to have a few extra customers in there just in case some drop off. Okay, so by having 12 additional customers over and above your 28, you know that you can afford to have a few drop off in the month and you've got some cover there. Now that's important because remember, being a qualifier entitles you to the extra 4%. So you want to make sure that you're a solid qualifier every month so that you don't earn the 4% this month and then not earn it the next month because you've dropped away. So having that safety net in your customers is important. The company does something else though that's really excellent. What it does is if you have a good solid customer base, and this is another reason why we say build to 40, right? if you have any excess volume turnover, okay, so let's say for example we know 28 customers will get you 1,500, but if you have 40 customers, that will get you considerably more than 1,500. So what the company does, it will allow that excess volume turnover, it will carry that over guys, so that if you have a short month for whatever reason, that excess volume turnover will be counted to the number that you have, so that you end up being a qualifier. Okay, I know that might sound a little complicated, uh, but I'm sure that you'll be listening to this report again and no doubt asking questions in the group as this becomes more relevant to you. But you'll see here that, uh, that there is an excess column in the PV report for both your performance bonus and another bonus the company pays, which is the promote out bonus, which you get paid when you break sales coordinators in your organisation. But today though, guys, I just really want you to focus on performance bonus and qualifiers from this report. So you'll see here that even though Quinton is showing 1,317, which is slightly off uh, the number required to be a qualifier, that if we go across to his uh, excess PV, that he actually has at least 1,500 in excess. So if we added the 1,500 to the 1,300, we've got over 2,800. So that means Quinton is easily a qualifier in that month. So guys, what you do with this report? The first thing you do is you come through this column, your PV column, okay, PVQ, and you highlight anyone in this column that has 1,500. And you can do that in one colour. The next thing I do is I'll take another colour and I'll highlight anyone that is at 1,000 or close to 1,000. Okay? And those people, I'm going to make sure that I contact. They're my team members, my franchisees. I'm going to contact them and say, guys, you're really close to being a qualifier. Right? Let's make sure that we work this month to do what we need to do to get you up to qualify. And guys, I'm going to remind you uh, about why we need to do that. Hopefully you'll remember uh, that Jason has mentioned a few times now about club levels with the company. And club levels are based on how many qualifiers you have in your overall organisation. The club levels, guys, there's uh, a few of them. We have three club, 12 club, 24 club, 39 club, and 100 club. Okay, now three club, obviously you reach that once you have three qualifiers in your business. That's you qualified plus three team members that are qualified. Likewise, 12 club is when you're qualified and you have 12 qualified franchisees in your organisation. And if you look at the way we do that, guys, that's you having three frontline team members that are qualified and then working with each of those three guys so that they have three guys of their own that are qualified. All right, remember, leverage business guys. We, uh, we put team members in, we work with them to help them put team members in, everyone builds a, a qualified business customer base. It's not rocket science. So uh, at 12 Club Guys, the company will pay you a $3,000 bonus. 
okay, for, for becoming a 12 club. And typically, once you've become a sales coordinator, 12 club is the next focus. Okay, not only is it moving through to the senior sales coordinator position, but you want to lock in a really solid volume turnover right, and make sure that your business is stable and secure. And having 12 qualifiers in your business, guys, is what that does. In fact, having qualifiers in your organisation, that's where your long-term, locked-in investment earnings comes from. Okay, because that's, uh, that's a customer base, guys, that's locked in, 75% retention, for a long, long time. Okay, so focusing on qualifiers is important. So $3,000 bonus for 12 club. Uh, the exciting thing is that the, the 24 club, right? if you understand that you build 12 club by having three frontline qualifiers who have three frontline qualifiers each, then obviously, guys, to build 24 club, you would just have another three frontline qualifiers and do the same thing again. So. Again, our business is not rocket science. It's a few simple things that you learn over time and just duplicate. And thanks to the systems that we've got and the work that Jason's doing as well in training and duplicating, you know, guys, we're making it as simple as possible for you to go out and, and really capture the market here with PTs and, and help as many PTs as possible so that we can make an even bigger difference to the health of the population. At, uh, at 24 Club, you're going to get paid a $5,000 bonus by the company. Okay? And then there's uh, larger bonuses, guys, when you hit the senior positions. Uh, obviously, 39 Club is a $7,000 bonus. And when you reach 100 Club, you know, which is a, a three to four year exercise, uh, then you're going to be paid a $10,000 bonus. So it's club levels are very important. So just, to, just recapping, guys, with this report, uh, this report here is all about how much volume do I need to reach my next qualification, but remember, it only shows you the cumulative method. So you guys need to be aware and need to make yourselves aware of what the volume requirement is for the Express Track program. And then you look at your, uh, your number, your promotional PV number, okay, and you would take that number away from what the number is required for you to hit and that will leave you with the volume you need to do. The most important part of this report, guys, is really not about you as an individual, but it's about your team. So that you're actually in control and on top of what's happening in your team. You can print out your report. You can see immediately how close each team member is to their next promotion. You can get in contact with them you know, inspire them, motivate them to get that job done. And also, guys, the, uh, the highlighting of the PV column so that you are conscious of developing qualifiers in your organisation. I know that that's a fair bit to, to take on board. Uh, I certainly didn't take it on the very first time that I saw it. I had to go through it two, three, four times. Uh, but I did find, guys, that the more I looked at this report, uh, the more questions I had, and in asking those questions and making myself aware of what these numbers mean, right, I became very, very excited uh, and felt very empowered about my business because I knew exactly what was going on. I knew which team members were moving to what level. I could start to see how quickly I could move them through, and it meant that in my business planning every month, right, I wasn't just sort of guessing and doing stuff without being in control. I was aware each and every month of what my goals and objectives were with my different team members in that month. So guys, get to know your reports. Um, I, I happen to love talking about this stuff only because I know the difference that it made to me once I really, really understood the numbers in my business. Uh, I don't mind, guys. I, I'm, a, uh, I'm not the, the a Batman of, of reports, so I'm available 24-7. Uh, I'm encouraging you all to continue to write your questions in our group. Uh, obviously, it's easier to do it in the group forum because many of you will have the same questions, and so it's easy for me to answer it once and, and answer it for everyone. Um, so really, guys, I, that's uh, all I wanted to cover today in terms of these reports. Please write down all of your questions. Let's keep communicating. Let's keep talking. It's uh, so important, guys, to be on top of this stuff. Uh, work really well with your team members. You know that the closer you pull together with your team, the more aware you are of, of what your team are doing. Remember, you're the leader in your business and you want to be grooming other leaders and bringing them through. So check your reports, 
Uh, have fun, guys. Ask all of your questions and uh, have a great week. Jason, I'll put it back over to you. Awesome. Thanks very much for that, John. Thanks for your time. And obviously, as you can tell, John hasn't spent much time at all going through this stuff. Uh, hence why I've asked John to join us today, because his knowledge on these reports is, is, is I'm sure you'll agree, quite incredible. A, a great point that John did have was that, that was that obviously there's no way that you're going to remember everything he just went through, and it is going to come through repetition. Those that know me and have been working with me a while know that I believe the best way to learn is to teach. So the best way to ingrain this at the unconscious is to go and share this with your downline ASAP. Now most of you that are going through and training a downline are going to need to in week four anyway, so this is covered in week four of the training. Some people might, you know, ask, well, is this order of this six weeks really the best order or the most appropriate order? And look, it's going to change slightly from person to person, but I, I like to keep it a little bit ahead of its time. If you're inviting your downline to look at this stuff slightly before they need to, it's probably going to give them a better understanding and anticipate what's about to happen, but also keep them motivated about taking the action necessary to get to that next step, and we'll lock that in as well. So join us next week, obviously, for week five, where John, uh, mainly John, will be talking about the compensation plans, so how exactly, a bit more in-depth about the, the club levels work. Uh, also, he'll be going through um, how you make money. A lot of you are like, how does, it, how does it work? How many customers do I need to make this much money and so forth? So next week is definitely a week you're all going to be here. Again, if you have any questions, please post them in the thread, especially regarding uh, any of these reports.